Hi everyone, it's Gigi, and today is Wednesday, August 21st, 2013. And um, as I was going around the house today, you know, getting ready and just doing things, I just grabbed a few things and thought I would do a quick um, hits and misses for the last, I don't know, maybe a um, month or two. Um, a very large variety of things. It's not all beauty. It's not all food. It's not all cleaning, organizing. It's a little bit of everything. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'll just start over here. I wanted to especially let you know about this because I think in one of my other videos I talked about how I went to um, Dollar Tree and bought these and they're only a dollar which is a really good deal for these that you can use with your Swiffer. However, uh, once I got them home and I used them, uh, they look a lot like the Swiffer but they do not absorb the liquid off of your floor. They just kind of move it around, which um, is not good at all. As a matter of fact, um, I haven't even opened this one, and I'm probably going to take it back. I was extremely disappointed with them. Thank goodness there was only four in there. I did go ahead and use the ones that I had. I just kind of used it as a as a touch-up, and kind of, actually, I used it to, after I'd used my Swiffer, to just kind of... Um, try to absorb some of the liquid from that but I don't know I just I felt like I had to use them somehow anyway I would not recommend those um, and I just wanted to since I'd said that I purchased those I just wanted to let you guys know that um, if you haven't purchased them yet they sure didn't work for me on the other hand I also purchased these which are the cleaning wipes for the little the little I call it a dust mop type floor thing it's kind of like just use it kind of like a broom. I really you I really cannot tell the difference between these and the brand name. And this one you got 20 of them for a dollar at Dollar Tree. So, um I actually uh will repurchase this one. This is a, the last of the the last bag that I had. And um these are very good. They work exactly the same as the Swiffer brand. So, I can honestly say that from using from using those that they do. Okay, uh, I think one of the only makeup things that I got was this, and this is the Marcel uh, Marcel uh, BB cream. I actually got this in a birch box, and I, oh excuse me, I had kind of put it back and not used it, but I pulled it out recently. Now that I'm uh, off work for a while, I don't want to wear, I want to wear makeup, but I don't want to wear like, you know, heavy full face makeup every day. So this is a nice light makeup, and I had tried other brands, mostly drugstore brands, and I just wasn't pleased with them. So I was so glad that I got this one because I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, it has a nice light coverage, and um, you can hardly feel it once it's on. Sorry, my voice with allergies is just horrible today, guys. But anyway, I have really been liking it. I'm going to see if they have it at Ulta this weekend. Uh, as this one is about to run out for me. So that's that. Oh, I've got to tell you about this. Um, my um, oldest daughter is um, in the music industry, and she's always like kind of turning me on to things going on in music. I'm not, I'm not uh, one who really seeks out like new artists and things like that. So I kind of depend on her to do this. And of course, Tony Bennett is by no means a new artist. But I tell you, she got me started on these duets that he's done with famous artists. Oh my gosh, I am enjoying this. This was, I believe, the first one. Um, and it's the the large variety of artists that he sings with. And the songs are just amazing. Uh, matter of fact, I started pulling some up on YouTube. She told me to be sure and go and pull up Lady Gaga. He sings with Lady Gaga. Oh my gosh, I think that's my favorite one. But he sings with people like Bono and um, Michael Buble, um, John Legend, Paul McCartney, um, even Tim McGraw, country. That's how my daughter kind of heard about it was through Tim. But anyway, um, I just thought that was cool. I wanted to share with you guys. If you've never uh, listened to music like this, give it a shot. Check it out on YouTube. If you listen to the Lady Gaga one, though, be sure and do the one where she has the green hair. It is awesome. Okay. 
Um, let's see. Let's go with this one next. I um, usually really, really, really like uh, Bath and Body Works products, and I do like this type of uh, pump soap, the anti-back that comes out in the little foam. But I have to tell you that this is called Black Cherry Merlot. No, it's not Black Cherry Merlot. It's Cherry Kool-Aid. It smells exactly like Cherry Kool-Aid, period. I had gotten uh, another scent in a Tuscan. Oh, I loved it. And I went back to get it. And of course they were gone. That's one thing that I get really frustrated with Bath and Body Works about is I will like a fragrance and then the next time I go back to get some, it'll be gone. I don't care if it's seasonal or not. I may still want it. Anyway, since I couldn't find out when I got this one and I'm like, oh my gosh, this would be great for kids because literally it is cherry Kool-Aid. Cherry Kool-Aid. Okay. Um, speaking of liquid beverages... <laughs> Here's an adult one that my husband and I recently had and really enjoyed a lot. This is, of course, a bottle of wine. Um, and lately I have really been, oh, just enamored with this um, soap and lotion. Matter of fact, I am uh, definitely getting away from Bath & Body Works and going more to this pure and basic. This one... I think I even mentioned this in another video. This is um, the gr green tea. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> the green tea one. Oh, I love it. Clean, light scent. Very fresh smelling. Lasts for a long time, but doesn't overpower if you are wearing perfume. Love it. Love it. Now, this little gadget here. Let me move it over here where we can see it a little bit better. I meant to save the box. I actually did. But I think when my husband saw the trash in the bathroom, he saw that empty box and he just threw it out when he took out the trash. Anyway, this is by Neutrogena. And, oh, I should have brought one of the little pads. There's like a little pad that goes on here. And it exfoliates your face. And this thing, I don't know if it'll come off that way. It vibrates. It doesn't, like, scrub your face. It just vibrates. And, um... It was only $20, and I just thought I would give it a try. It comes with little pads that you put on here. I would not use it. The first time I used it, um, I rinsed my face. Oh, it was so soft. I really liked it a lot. But I don't know that I would use it every day. I'm afraid it just might be a bit much. But I am going to keep it and continue to use it. I have found several Neutrogena products that I really like. And while this is not something I'd use every day, I do like it. Okay, let's see. Along with the health and beauty, the, this is one of my all-time favorites. I think I've mentioned it before. It is the EOS Lip Balm. This is Lemon Drop. Oh my gosh, I love these. I have almost every flavor. The only one I can't find is a little orange one that's Medicaid. And I'm hoping they'll have more of those come fall, winter. But I have every single one of them, and I absolutely love them. Here's another thing that I have been indulging in lately. These are the Biscoffs. If you travel, these are the little biscuits that they give you on the airplane. And I found them one day in Aldi's. It was awesome. But my Kroger's grocery store also carries these. They're just a wonderful little cookie-type cracker to have with tea or coffee. Coffee. Speaking of coffee... I wanted to tell you guys about this. Um, I have a Keurig, uh, but I will also be getting a regular, a new, um, once we set up the beverage center in our new kitchen, I will also be getting a new automatic drip. By the way, if you have any suggestions for really, really good ones, let me know. But recently, I had got some Javalier in the K-Cups. And while I love the flavor of Javalier, including here in these K-Cups, the grounds came out in my cup, big time. I mean, not just one or two little pieces, I mean, big time. So now, when I do it, these, until I get them used up, I have to use one of these. So, just a heads up to those of you who use those. Thought I would let you know. Another thing that I've really been liking right now, another hit, I guess you could say, since I'm going to call this my hit and miss. These are the Rapid Wrinkle Repair by Neutrogena, and I really, really, really like both of these. I've been using them for a while, and they are excellent. Highly recommend them. 
and let's see did I get everything here I think I pretty much did there's just one more thing that's definitely been a hit with us this year uh, or this summer um, <laughs> and um, oh I can't say enough good about this and this is the new little lady in our life her name is Lillian and we call her Lily. There she is with her mommy, our daughter. Oh, I'm getting the glare of the light in there, aren't I? And here she is. <laughs> She's a little over one month old now. And... Um, She's absolutely the light of our life right now. We are very deeply in baby love with her. She is amazing. We are um, just thrilled with her. So, And the young man in our life, he's still adjusting to her because he's been like the only one for a while. So, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I just wanted to share with you a few of the hits and misses for me for the last um, month or two. And this was just kind of off the cuff real quick. I could have definitely grabbed more, but I didn't want to make it too long. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it very much. Um, I'm hoping you are having a good day and looking forward to a great weekend. This is Gigi. Bye-bye.